Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another quick tutorial. This is about set extensions. So what I'm going to try and do is show you how to do a very, very quick set extension in After Effects. So I'm just going to import a couple of files um, that I've got from a project and off the net. It's just a sort of, you know, a couple of very simple things. I've got my, my moving footage here, which is a simple sort of panning down in the field like so and I've got my background plate okay so first of all um, I'm going to track this bit of footage so I'm going to create a null object like so um, and I'll click on my field go to animate and then I'm going to track motion now um, I'm going to click on track motion here okay um, and then I'm going to click on rotation so I've got two and as you can see I want it to start just where you know the field is so first of all I'm just going to sort of play around with my first tracking point and I'm just going to bring it down to the darkest part of the scene which is this bush here and I'm just going to bring the second one to another dark point which is I would say about here right there and I'm going to edit target make sure it's my null one click OK and then I'm going to analyze forward and hopefully because they're the darkest spot as you can see it's tracking to both points um, on the footage so what we do we let that track very quickly and then we will continue try and do is you know a little bit of a tip really um, I don't like tracking footage when parts of the track are off the screen I like to make sure that the complete track is always on the screen at once and you know if it's a case of it's coming off the screen then I'll do two different types of shots um, and then I'll edit it, edit it in post-production so it's always better to do that because you know you're gonna get a really nice track all the time so that's nearly done it's tracking quite nicely as you can see you want to make sure that these two points here that are tracking are not wobbling all over the screen because whatever you try to attach to that that's exactly the same sort of effect you're going to get say for instance when I add my back plate or my my set extension that's going to shake as well so you want to be aware of that you want to make sure it's smooth all the time Right, so great. So as you can see, that's tracked pretty cool, as you can see. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on Apply, X and Y, and click OK. And bingo, we've got our track point in place. Now, I'm going to come back to my composition. And I'm going to hide all this stuff here. And I'm just going to add my picture of my field or my set extension in and then all I'm going to do is you know you can sort of prepare this in Photoshop beforehand uh, but if you're not sort of or you don't want to sort of prepare in Photoshop you can just do it a little simple mask uh, let's just go up here I mean it's not going to be perfect like I say because it's just a tutorial to show you guys what I mean around here to keep what I want to keep Come all the way around here draw it up in the end and then you can sort of click on F feather it's sort of out and then you can sort of go in and sort of do all your tweaking on your bad sort of points up here so on and so on but like I say for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to bring these up so it sort of blends in with the field and point and then all I'm going to try and do is scale this up just a bit so it fits the scene like so this is a tweaking process as you probably are aware I'm going to sort of do about 
just bit off the screen there. Bring this off the screen there. Maybe make it larger there. And obviously, you know, your color grading you can do in post afterwards. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to get our little whip it tool and connect it to our null one. And then as you can see, we'll remove our picture or our scenery moves with the track quite nicely. So that's sort of joined on. And then afterwards what we can do is if you look down the bottom here, click on our picture here, I'm just going to bring this sort of down. And this looks like a really sort of rough edge so we can sort of play around and sort of bring that up like that and then move the whole thing down just to take away that rough line look there um, and then it's all about you know color grading and color correcting so let's do some of that now so we're gonna right click go to FX color correction and we're going to go to curves and I'm just going to play around with the darkness of the floor so we get the sort of shadow effect from the mountains here um, and then we are going to go to our picture again effect color correction and photo filter bang like so so it's not a little bad it's not a bad little trick do you know what I'm saying you guys obviously you know if you spend a lot of time working on this you know you can get a really really sort of refined um, bit of work but we can go to effects on our picture um, let's go to um, curves on that one uh, we can sort of play around with you know the lighting of that to match the floor plane um, in our scene but as you can see it's worked quite nicely if we just quickly round preview that now I'll start my comp form about there as it joins up to the um, joins up to the no object and because this is a really nice thing because this is a mask we can put actually anything behind that so we can have some you know nice lighting behind that or we can actually add some camera light to it so um, what I mean by that is if I stop this I can go to new light and I can create a parallel light get my dabber and then I'm going to pick somewhere on the rock like so click OK and then I can sort of oh not do that set my light Put my light up my light. Let's go to transform. And I can sort of play around with my lighting settings as well to give it that sort of extra bit of sort of decent lighting. Zoom out. Go back to a bit where it's quite high up. Zoom back in. And then what we can do is we can play around with you know this is because obviously it's not it's not masked sort of perfect but you sort of get the gist of how you would add a set extension you know within your scene oh for some reason I'm opening up Nuke um, within your scene Nuke's decided it wanted to open up by itself I think it misses me okay so what we're going to do now we're going to go to new adjustment layer and we're going to go to effects color correction and we're going to go to curves again zoom back out and we're just going to play around with the, the whole color the whole scene so we'll bring that down to about sort of there so it looks like there's a sort of foggy sort of background um, right so we can even sort of mask these bits out just to give them a little bit of realism um, we can go to effects we can go to where is it uh, generate uh, where's me glow been a long time guys let's go to blur and sharpen uh, where is it stylize I knew I'd find it somewhere 
nice hit film in it stylize glow haha <laughs> right so we can switch on glow um, and then we can sort of punch to sort of glow up just a bit put it on top and just basically play around with the the gradients of the of the scene and basically just do you know it's all about tweaking at the end of the day and and getting it the way you guys you know you want it I mean I could sort of bring this out and just you know level it with the horizon and don't go too far because my color correction and that's basically it really that's how you make a nice set extension in After Effects so let's just it will start here because that's when the tracking point is good so what I can do is I can just bring this to where it starts there right click trim to comp work area and boom nice quick harmless set extension within After Effects so guys I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for listening and I hopefully will see you again in the next video thanks a lot guys bye